Oh, I'm the shit, now it's time to Yeah, you writing me a check, you can go and send it through I'm steady fighting all these demons from this shit that I've been through I'ma set my intention, baby girl, watch it bloom Manifesting so much, honey, that's all this money for the Hey, what's up, Nintendo? It's your boy, K9 Game. And we're back in the video, you guys. And today, we're going to be filming this video from the fire station. So I want to kind of get this out to you guys real quick. But I kind of had this real big nudge to really put this video out, you guys. So I really want to be explaining to you guys the difference and the understanding of calories in versus calories out and then like ordinary diets and all that kind of stuff, okay? And kind of understanding what that is and how important knowing like um, the purpose of calories when it comes to gaining muscle or like losing weight, okay? So... First of all, young guys, I, I want to put this out here, okay? One of the biggest determining factors that determines, like, if you're going to lose weight or gain weight or pack on muscle or anything like that, you guys, it's going to be how much calories you are consuming, okay? Meaning that if you consume a lot of calories, you will gain a lot more weight. If you consume less calories, you will lose weight, okay? It's kind of simple. Like, it's like if, if you eat more food, um, you will gain more um, weight. If you eat less, less food, um, you will gain less weight now the thing is young guys is and where it gets kind of tricky though is um some foods are actually packed with a lot of calories in them meaning that um it may be a little bit of food but it's high in calories that's why I like things like um chips candies and stuff like like that makes you fat very very fast because of the um fat within the foods um contains a lot of calories because as you guys know um, fat contains nine calories versus protein and carbohydrates, which only contain four calories, okay? So, with that being said, you want to watch these high-calorie foods. Check on the back of different food items that, that you eat. Um, see how many calories and stuff that they have in them. Look at the macros, which is carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, okay? Then you have your micronutrients and all that kind of stuff, but that's a whole nother video. But fats, protein, and on carbs, okay? And now this is super important, not just for if you want to lose weight, but if you want to gain weight too. Because if you want to gain weight, you may be eating a lot of food, but they may not be calorie dense foods. Meaning that if you're someone who eats pretty healthy, which is good, um, a lot of healthy foods though, what, what we consider as healthy foods, really don't have that many calories in them. So if you want to um, add on more weight, you're going to have to eat more calorie dense foods. So I would say look into more, um, look into more carb like carby foods. Um, higher higher fats foods, bacon, stuff like that stuff, stuff that has like healthy fats in it. And um, av avocados is also another option. Things that can kind of raise raise your caloric in intake for the um, day. And also, this is a good way for if you want to get calories in because you're trying to bulk up, but you just can't eat that much food, try and eat more calorie dense foods, foods that have a lot more calories in them. Also meaning um, if you want to, you can even have a lot more cheap meals but still be healthy, you guys, and be safe, okay? But that's going to be the um, end of this video. I just want to kind of throw that out, out there and make this quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and keep making them canine. <laughs>